Rice water or compost tea? The ultimate soil microbe face-off. Your soil might look fine on the surface, but if plants are stalling, leaves dull and roots struggling, the real problem lies underground. The secret to a thriving garden isn't in the fertilizer aisle. It's in how alive your soil is. Today, on Timeless Crops Haven, we're diving deep into a head-to-head -head battle between two powerful all-natural soil tonics, rice water and compost tea, to find out which one wakes up your soil microbes faster and brings dead soil back to life. By the end, you'll know which gives your garden the instant spark it needs and exactly how to make it yourself at home. Why microbes hold the key to healthy soil? Soil microbes are the real engineers of your garden. They break down organic matter, unlock nutrients, and form partnerships with plant roots that boost growth and resilience. When your soil's microbial life slows down due to compaction, chemical fertilizers, or drought, your plants pay the price. Reviving these microbes is like jump-starting the heart of your garden. Rice water might look like kitchen waste, but you know it's secretly microbial gold. When you rinse uncooked rice, starches and carbohydrates leach into the water. These sugars act as quick energy for soil bacteria and fungi, the same way a strong coffee fires you up in the morning. Here's the exact formula we used. Take one cup of uncooked white rice and rinse it in two litres of clean, chlorine-free water. Swish the rice around until the water turns cloudy white. Don't throw it away. That's your base rice water. Now, pour it into a clean glass jar and leave it loosely covered at room temperature for 48 hours. This allows natural fermentation to occur as beneficial microbes like lactobacillus and wild yeasts multiply. After two days, you'll notice a mild, sour smell. That means your rice water is alive and ready. Before applying it to soil, dilute it using one part fermented rice water to three parts water. This one-to-three ratio ensures it's gentle enough for roots while still rich in microbial fuel. Pour it directly around the base of plants or over bare soil. Within days, you'll notice something fascinating. The soil starts giving off a clean, earthy aroma, one of the best signs that microbial respiration is happening below the surface. A thin white fungal layer may appear on top, known as mycelial bloom. That's not mold. It's evidence of a microbial awakening. If rice water is the quick wake-up call, compost tea is the slow, sustaining breakfast. It doesn't just stimulate existing microbes. It introduces entire colonies of beneficial bacteria, fungi, and protozoa directly into your soil. To make a high-quality compost tea, we started with two cups of mature, well-decomposed compost. Place it inside a breathable mesh or burlap bag and submerge it in a five-gallon bucket filled with non-chlorinated water. Oxygen is crucial for keeping your brew aerobic, so connect an aquarium air pump and air stone, letting it bubble continuously. Next, add two tablespoons of unsulfured molasses to feed the microbes as they multiply. Let it brew for 24 hours, stirring occasionally. After a day, remove the compost bag and strain the liquid. What you're left with is a dark, earthy, microbe-rich tea, ready to transform depleted soil. Apply it once a week,
by pouring directly onto the soil or using it as a foliar spray in the evening. The live microbes and nutrients in compost tea work to improve soil structure, increase nutrient availability and strengthen plant immunity over time. So, to really figure out which one worked faster, we decided to test both side by side in identical containers filled with nutrient-poor soil. The first group, well, they got the rice water mix every three days. The second group received compost tea just once a week, since it's a bit more concentrated. And then, of course, we had a third control group that only got water. All of the groups had the same light, moisture and temperature conditions. The main goal here wasn't about making the plants grow taller, but rather to see which treatment would activate the soil's microbial life more quickly. After the first week, the results, well, they started to show themselves pretty clearly. The soil treated with rice water developed this sweet, earthy scent, and there was a light layer of white fungal threads, both really strong indicators of microbial activity. Meanwhile, the soil that got compost tea began to darken and loosen up in texture, which is a sure sign that decomposition was picking up speed. By day 10, the plants in the compost tea group were definitely looking greener, but when we actually measured microbial respiration, the rice water soil was ahead. It released 17% more carbon dioxide, which is a direct sign that its microbes were awake and actively breaking down organic matter. After three weeks, both treatments had remarkable results. Compost tea produced stronger, taller plants with thicker stems and deeper colour thanks to higher nitrogen and phosphorus availability. The rice water group, however, showed greater microbial counts and a softer, more aerated soil texture, revealing intense underground life. In essence, rice water jumpstarts microbial activity faster, while compost tea sustains it longer. One is about speed, the other is about endurance. And when used together, they create the perfect cycle. Fast activation followed by steady nourishment. The reason rice water sparks microbes so quickly is its simple sugars and starches. These act as instant fuel for bacteria and fungi, causing a burst of activity as they feed and multiply. Compost tea, by contrast, brings in a diverse established microbial community plus trace minerals, humic compounds and natural enzymes that stabilise soil health for the long run. Think of rice water as the espresso shot that jolts your soil awake. Compost tea is the balanced breakfast that keeps those microbes working all day. Used alternately, they mimic nature's rhythm of quick stimulation and slow regeneration. Exactly what healthy ecosystems thrive on. If your soil feels lifeless or compacted, start with rice water for a fast microbial boost. Apply the one to three fermented rice water mix every three days for two weeks to jumpstart microbial respiration. Once activity increases, switch to compost tea weekly to nourish and maintain that living system. Always apply either tonic in the evening, when soil microbes are most active, and evaporation is low. Over time, alternating between both will create a self-sustaining, microbially rich soil that naturally supports strong, vibrant plants without synthetic fertilizers. So, which wakes up your soil microbes faster? The answer is clear. Rice water brings them to life first, but compost tea keeps them thriving longer. Together, they're the perfect tag team for building healthy, living soil. Next time you rinse your rice, 
don't pour that cloudy water down the drain. Use it to spark life beneath your garden beds. And if you want lasting fertility, follow it up with a weekly compost tea brew. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to subscribe to Timeless Crops Haven, hit the like button and share this video with fellow gardeners. Because healthy soil isn't just dirt, it's a living world waiting for you to wake it up.